Hi everybody, welcome to Kevin's European Garage and today I'm going to talk to you about the 958 Porsche Cayenne. So I've had this uh, Porsche Cayenne now for about four years and it's had the typical problems that most Cayennes have, like every water pump always goes at 60,000 miles and this pretty much was clockwork, right at 60,000 miles. But the other issue I had with this thing is the transfer case. Now everyone talks about the transfer case. Uh, you see a little bit online, you see everyone say, oh, I've had problems with it. And everyone's solution so far has been to really replace it. There's no other, there's nothing else that everyone does. Or you might hear a couple of people talk about they maybe they changed the fluid and it kind of went away a little bit and, uh, and such. What I did in this car is I actually changed the fluid four times. Yes, four times. And the first time I changed it, the fluid came out black. I mean, it was black and just really dark. So I put some new fluid in and I drove it around for a week, changed that out. Uh, same thing again, it was black. But you know, I did notice a slight improvement as far as what was going on. And uh, mainly some of the symptoms of having an issue with your transfer case is uh, when you're trying to take uh, sharp turns, you'll hear like a whirling sound. Uh, coming from from down there. Uh, for me, it was not so much on the right-hand turns, but it was always on the left-hand turn. It was going really slow. You hear a whirl, like a whirling sound as you're going. And then uh, later on, as it got worse, what would end up actually happening is that the car would start bucking a little bit. And uh, under light acceleration, uh, up to maybe like 30, 40 miles an hour, if I was lightly accelerating, you would have a hesitation. It almost felt like a misfire, but there was no misfire. I had no codes, no nothing, or anything like that. So once I started doing that, I started really thinking about what was going on. So like I said, I changed the one time, and the fluid came out black. I mean, it was just, it was just it black. It didn't look like anything like gear oil or anything like that. So then I changed it again. Still came out black. And after the first time, I noticed a slight improvement as far as uh, the whirling and the bucking actually went away after the first oil uh, to the first change. Uh, so that part was good. So the, the bucky went away, but I still had the whirling. So I changed it again the second time, and the whirling got a little bit better. Still there, but not quite as much. And the fluid still came out black on the second time. Changed it a third time. And then that's when pretty much all the symptoms went away. You had a slight whirling every once in a while, and the fluid came out relatively I would say relatively clean. It wasn't black anymore. It was more along the lines like of a like a darker grayish color, you know. And uh, so it was definitely an improvement. And then this last time, the fourth time I changed it, the fluid, for the most part, came out clear. I don't hear any more whirling sounds going around, and it has been a while since I felt any sort of hesitation with it. So you know, people they, they talk about that the uh, the clutch packs. They get material built up inside them and they start binding. And that's what's causing the, the shuttering. Uh, I can't guarantee this is gonna work for everybody, but it certainly did work for me. Uh, it might work for you, uh, but it's gonna take multiple changes of the fluid. It's not gonna be something that it's just gonna be one change and then you're done. Here we're talking like for me, it was on the fourth change when it basically completely went away. And I would drive a little bit in between to make sure that the new fluid really went through the transfer case. So you're only looking at putting in, uh, the specs is like 0.7 of a liter of fluid in there. And the fluid I've been using is this uh, Ravenol transfer case fluid. And uh, so far my results with it have been excellent. I was really, uh, I was really worried about having to replace the transfer case in this thing because it is not exactly cheap. And so far it has definitely been, uh, it's definitely fixed it. I don't hear any more, any more of those problems, and it's been uh, thousands of miles I have put on it since then, and I'm really happy with the results. I couldn't be happier with it. So if you got these problems, I would suggest before you get all excited about it, I would uh, try changing the fluid a few times, and if you can do it yourself, even better. Uh, the stuff from Ravenol, you can get it from Amazon. It's about $40. Um, it's about $40 a liter, so it's a little bit on the expensive side, but for me it worked, absolutely worked. Another cool thing about it with the Raven All stuff is that it comes with a little spout on it, so you don't have to worry about having to pump everything into the transfer case after you're done. And uh, it's, it's a really good product. I can't say anything uh, bad about it so far, 
And uh, if anything changes in the future, I'll keep you updated. But uh, as of right now, multiple thousand miles later, it has been, uh, it's been fixed and it's been holding up really good. And thanks for watching my channel and uh, hopefully we'll, uh, I'll have more stuff coming up soon. Thanks. So here's the fluid I've been using. It's the Ravenol Transfer Case Fluid TF0870. So far it's been working out pretty good. And what's nice about this is it's got a nice little spout that's uh, inside there so you don't have to worry about having the pump in there. Believe it or not, there's enough room up inside where the dry shaft is that you can just kind of put this bottle up in there, tuck it in, and just squeeze it and all the fluid comes out. And here I'll show you a nice little nozzle. Pulls up, get this little piece that comes right out, out of it. This thing will come up further out and then you can stick it right inside the hole.